Many believe that there are no so-called UFOs. They believe it is just a future secret technology under test. We are ignorant of it and therefore we think it is unknown. But what about large, strange yellow glow, oval-shaped object with spectrum, which unlike anything we have ever seen, and didn't match anything in our data banks, in 1981? 1981 Carlos Diaz and the large, orange, oval-shaped UFO story. One morning in January 1981, Mexican photographer Carlos Diaz pulled into a deserted car park at a Jusco Park near Mexico City. He was on an assignment for a magazine, and had arranged to meet a journalist who was yet to arrive. Diaz sat in his car, preparing his camera for the job ahead. Although it was early in the morning, the air was thick with humidity which made even sitting still uncomfortable. Impatiently, Diaz began to look at his watch. Suddenly, his attention was caught by a strange yellow glow, coming from the valley below him. At first he thought it was a forest fire, but, an instant later, the source of light revealed itself to be a large, orange, oval-shaped UFO, slowly hovering about 30 meters from his car. Unable to believe his eyes, Diaz quickly grabbed his camera. With it resting on his steering wheel, he began frantically taking shots. Then, without warning, the whole car began to shake violently. Diaz got out of the vehicle and took two more photographs, before the craft sped up vertically into the sky, leaving Diaz in a state of shock. This encounter marked the beginning, of what was to develop into one of the most fascinating and long-running contacted cases in the history of ufology. Today, the case remains among a small minority of alleged UFOs encounters to be supported by verified film documentation that has stood up to the scrutiny of a range of experts. Indeed, the apparent credibility of Diaz's claims has attracted the attention of some of the world's top UFO researchers, including German author Michael Heisman and researcher Dr. John Mack. Both concluded that Diaz's story is completely credible. Heisman echoes the views of most researchers when he states, The Carlos Diaz case is the most important case of documented UFO cases to have emerged in modern times. Certainly, at the time of his initial encounter, Diaz little suspected what was to come. The transition from a run-of-the-mill UFO sighting in an area now acknowledged as a UFO hotspot, to one of the key cases of recent years did not occur until weeks later. In the days that followed this January sighting, Diaz remained preoccupied by his experience. Unable to forget what he had seen, he repeatedly returned to the Ajusco Park location, hoping to secure more pictures. After a succession of fruitless visits, Diaz began to think that he was wasting his time. But then, on 23rd of March, his patience was rewarded. While roaming the greenery, Diaz was again alerted to the presence of a UFO by an orange glow, which he could see only dimly through the fog. And rain that had saturated the forest in a Jusco Park. As he climbed up the walls of the valley, he managed to position himself within 45 meters of the object. Diaz watched the craft hovering above him, emanating a bright orange light. It was, he said, dome-shaped with a smooth ring in its center. Mexican TV journalist and ufologist Jamie Mousen, who has been at the center of UFO investigations in Mexico. Since the wave began in 1991, believes that Diaz's UFO photographs are among the most impressive he has seen. Mousen took Diaz's photographs to Jim Dilatoso, an image processing expert at Village Labs, in Tucson, Arizona, who concluded they were genuine. After satisfying himself he was not dealing with a hoaxer, Mousen visited Diaz at his home in Tepoztlan, Mexico. There, he spoke to a number of other witnesses, who claimed to have seen exactly the same type of UFO. The apparent credibility of the Diaz case, has also attracted UFO researchers from further afield, who have attempted to glean insights into the UFO's agenda. Mac has a long history of dealing with UFOs and believes that the Diaz case, is among the most convincing he has come across. In his book Passport to the Cosmos, he stated the case. 
For many ufologists, the Diaz case remains among the most convincing on record. Indeed, few UFO reports exist that boast such impressive and abundant photographic evidence. And fewer still have emerged that have stood up to the scrutiny applied to Diaz's images. Expert analysis of Carlos Diaz's UFO pictures has been extremely thorough. Mexican ufologist Jamie Mousen gave the original transparencies to Professor Victor Quesada at the Polytechnical Institute of the University of Mexico for examination. Quesada stated, We were shocked to discover that the spectrum of light from the object was unlike anything we have ever seen, it broke all previous parameters, and didn't match anything in our data banks. The light was extraordinarily intense. There was no evidence of superimposition or a hoax. We estimated the object to be around 30 to 50 meters in diameter. Interestingly, the photographs were also analyzed by Dr. Robert Nathan at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. Nathan, a notorious UFO skeptic, stated that he could find no evidence of a fake. Certainly, for many who have examined the three images, the first shot is the most impressive. In it, the orange glowing craft can be seen through the windshield of the car, and light from the object is reflected both off the car's bonnet and off the metal guard rail by the side of the road. These, in particular, are details that experts claim are extremely difficult to fake. Mexican ufologist Jamie Mousen was so intrigued by Carlos Diaz's account of his experiences that, he provided him with a video camera and asked him to see if he could record the UFO on tape when it next appeared. A few weeks later, Diaz awoke at 5 a.m. and grabbed his camera, he walked out and waited. Apparently, within minutes, the craft appeared and hovered over the house, where Diaz filmed it. When Mousen saw the remarkable footage, he asked Diaz if he could get even closer to the craft while filming. Two months later, Diaz was once again able to film the craft, which this time hovered directly above him, without moving. However, it is Diaz's third attempt to capture the craft on video. That is the most spectacular. In this footage, Diaz having mounted his camera on a tripod, walks to the bottom of a field waving a flashlight. Responding to this, the craft suddenly materializes directly above Diaz's head, and sends beams of light down towards him. Then, the unidentified object remains motionless for 30 seconds, before blinking out and take off.